Hey, it's Paul, and this is the announcement that the Ionic CLI V3 has now been released. This is going to change the way that we use the Ionic CLI, and quite a few commands have been removed, and some of the commands have been refactored. Let's take a look at the cheat sheet to see the sort of differences between the Ionic 2 CLI and the Ionic 3 CLI. At the moment, in the Ionic 2 CLI, we would have to say something like Ionic Run Android, or Ionic Build Android, but now we say Ionic Cordova run Android and Ionic Cordova build Android. Other commands have changed to incorporate that Cordova syntax and a lot of commands have been removed such as setup, share, lib, IO and so on. Let's upgrade our Ionic 2 CLI to the version 3. The first thing that I'm going to do is uninstall the current version of the Ionic CLI. So npm uninstall dash g Ionic. Now that that's completed, we can add the Ionic 3 CLI by saying npm install dash g Ionic at latest. Awesome, if we now type Ionic, we see that we have a different CLI, version 3.0. If we then head over to our repos directory and make a new Ionic project, we could say Ionic start my Ionic 3 project based on the blank template, and this hasn't changed. We could click enter and we can see our project is made with the Ionic 3 CLI and the installation looks a little bit different. You'll notice that this installed the Ionic CLI plugin for Ionic Angular and the CLI plugin for Cordova. If we have an existing Ionic project, we'll have to install this into our project and I'll show you that in a second. For now, let's say no, we don't want to use tools like Ionic View at this moment. And we can see our project has now been created at my Ionic 3 project. But I have a project that was built with the Ionic 2 CLI. Let's try and run that. So I'm going to run Ionic Serve. And we're told that this looks like it's an Ionic Angular project. Would you like to install the CLI plugin for Ionic Angular? We'll select yes. And this will go ahead and install the Ionic Angular plugin for our older projects. Another thing, if we want to use Cordova inside of our project, we also have to install the Ionic Cordova CLI plugin. So let's type Ionic Cordova. And as we're trying to do something with Cordova, the CLI has picked this up and it's saying the plugin, CLI plugin Cordova is not installed. Let's hit yes, we do want to install that. All of these things are installed by default whenever we create a new project with the Ionic CLI v3, but when we're upgrading an old project, we will have to add these dependencies. So from now on, you'll see me using the Ionic CLI v3, and I suggest that you upgrade too.